Um, okay, this is test number three. Um, I hope that Dustin likes this video, and I hope that we get lots of people to join. What the Bailey Scholars Program means to me is an opportunity to explore what teaching can be like and what learning can be like beyond institutional norm. It means community and just a place to go when you need support. I feel like our campus is so large and sometimes that's just very overwhelming and especially coming in last year as a transfer student, it was just like there's so much going on. Really exploring flexibility, exploring experiential learning, exploring community in ways that are not typical for classroom teaching. Bailey does a really good job of making a comfortable space where not only do you see everyone and do you hear everyone, um, you feel heard. And so when I think of Bailey, I, I think of a true family, not the kind of ones that you put and you slap on a bumper sticker, but one where when you walk in, someone's immediately asking you, how's your day? Uh, and immediately talking to you and acknowledging you. So being able to come in here and just everybody knows my name and Dustin being there for you, you know, no matter what, it's just, I love it. It's nice. Honestly, it was kind of like a shot in the dark thing. Um, my English professor back during uh, 2020, during that COVID year, told me, hey, I think you'd love this program and I think you should join it. And I got on a Zoom call with Dustin and I think within the first five minutes, I was like, I want to be part of this. Um, I actually joined my freshman year. I had no clue what it was. I was Googling MSU clubs, organizations, just anything. And I was actually living in Bailey Hall at the time. And I saw Bailey Scholars. And I was like, oh, that's fun. Bailey, Bailey. And so I kind of looked into it. And I ended up going on a Zoom call with Dustin. And I knew that it was immediately for me. Like, he, he told me what it was and then when I asked him some questions he just would not stop giving me great answers and like things that he could do and what the program was about and I fell in love with it honestly. I honestly joined because in one of my classes they had the presenters come in to tell us about the Bailey Scholars program and I was like yeah sure that sounds cool I'll do it and so then I like went home told my friend Jenna about it she's also in it and then I was like you have to join this with me because I can't do it alone and so then we joined it. I joined it because the idea of being able to get better at like be better as a person as a leader and like the way I le learned things really like interested me and I also didn't have any minors really and wasn't really sure what additional classes I would want to take in my college experience and in terms of Dustin and everyone in the program it seemed like a great place to put that time in for sure. I gained a family, um, a group of students that I know are going to graduate and do amazing things and I'm excited to spend my life watching them succeed. I gained a new understanding of what it means to have a student-centered classroom. Um, I became comfortable with sitting through silences and uncomfortable silences in classrooms and using that as an opportunity to challenge students and push them further. I'd say uh... It's helped me uh, like open up because uh, being an international student, there's somewhat of a language barrier where uh, uh, you feel like communicating in English is kind of tough. So uh, I believe it really helped me uh, to like open up and feel more confident in my uh, language. From from being in Bailey, I've gained a more of an experience of like other people's majors and other people's lives. When it comes to, I'm a food science major, and so. All I talk to is people in food science or maybe a couple of engineers, a couple of dietetics, stuff like that. But being in Baylor, I'm actually to learn like what other people are passionate about. And I love that because people's, be, people's passion like drives me to be even more passionate and work harder in what I do. Reflecting on my first experience in Bailey, whether that, uh, whether that be my first class or even just one of our first events, I've grown. I've grown completely. I've grown inside the classroom as a student, but I think the biggest thing that I've learned from Bailey was the personal growth that I got. I became a better person. I think I, I laugh a little bit louder. I think I smile a little bit more authentically. And I think when I say that I feel a part of 
the campus as a whole or I feel like I belong here, I, I, I'm really saying that I feel all these things because of Bailey. My day in our 210 class went to the cider mill. We had a running joke that we had to go find the man that knew everything about apples. Cause like every cider mill, there's a man that knows everything about apples. And so we spent an hour looking around for the man who knew everything about apples. And in turn, we just like had a great time together. Eating donuts was delicious. Um, yeah, I think my most memorable experience in the program was probably in 310 getting to go out on the ergs and row on the Grand River. That was probably the coolest thing ever to me. <laughs> if you told me that I was doing that my freshman year, I would have told you no way, but that was such a fun experience. <laughs> a memorable experience that I've had in the program was last year during 310 when we did our core course share night. So we did the magic school bus and each unit got their own part of the bus and it was really fun like decorating the bus, putting it together, understanding like how we were gonna transport it and then actually presenting. And even one of our classmates, she wasn't able to be available due to some family things. And we acted like she sent us like a letter and we were still able to read her part of the class, which was really nice. So, and we, we won that year, so. <laughs> uh, some of the pros of being in a smaller community is that you get to know the people that you get to engage with, even if you don't have classes with them. So as a convener and now as director, I've gotten to know a bunch of students who will never take a sociology class with me, but who I get to engage with on a person-to-person -person basis in a way that's really hard in other ways. Um, we get to know a little bit more of who you are as, as individuals. Um, you also get to know us, and I think that's an opportunity for us to also be open to um, relationship building that is not just confined to the actual class. It's confined to the program, and I think that's something that's unique. That's a huge advantage to being in a small community. Um, I would definitely say that interpersonal relationships are much deeper when it comes to a smaller community. We're able to do a lot more community events like our community week in the spring semester uh, where we have people come to us, which otherwise if it was a larger community we would have to go to them. Um, so I love that we're able to bring people together in such a deeper sense compared to other communities. Uh. The perks of being a Bailey Scholar are a sense of community and like a sense of one. You have direct access to a loving community right at your fingertips. There's no barriers of entry, there's no reason to prove yourself, there's no reason to do anything above and beyond who you are. The perks, definitely the snacks and the access to the space, I've been some Cold nights after football games where I just stopped in here for hot chocolate or just to get out of the cold. Besides just the amazing connections that you make, some perks of being a Bailey Scholar are definitely just the advancements I've been able to make in my education. Yes, you have the community. Yes, you have you know people, but also like 24-hour access to the Bailey room as well as the Bailey classroom to study in or like hang out in, um, especially during finals which are coming up. It's a great way to isolate yourself, but also make sure that you're not feeling too isolated or too alone during these like very stressful times. It allows me to have a much more focused um, point of view, I think, on what I want to learn. And Dustin and Sarah are both amazing when it comes to taking what your passions are and helping guide you through them. It's an area where you want to be here because it offers you so much good and there's so much that you can learn and gain from it. We are lucky to be one of the most diverse uh, programs on campus. Um, MSU is a primarily white institution and I think that for a lot of students they can feel really out of place here and so Bailey provides an opportunity for all kinds of students to experience a rich diversity. You have people from all around the world coming here and they join the Bailey program and they all have such different mindsets, such different cultures, different experiences that anytime you talk to them there's a story to be said, there's an idea to be like learned, there's something to be found, and it's always amazing. When you look around any Bailey event, you see a wide range of people from international students to uh, people from rural America, and then from people from right down the street in Okemos, Michigan. We, we really pride ourselves and we, we 
we see our diversity as one of our biggest strengths. Uh, you have people from different backgrounds and different mindsets, which uh, they all uh, like bring value to this program, where uh, we have different ideas and try new things together. So diversity is what you see, inclusion is what you feel. And then I think a big piece of um, that's missing in that equation oftentimes is uh, the justice piece, the equity piece. Because um, we know that folks are bringing in also ways that they've been mistreated by um, institutions and systems. And so um, we're able to provide an opportunity for folks to learn about that. If you're thinking about joining the Bailey Scholars Program, I enthusiastically encourage you to do so. Come to an event. We have events that are open to the entirety of campus and you guys are all more than welcome to come. And I think that if you do find yourself at one of our events, you'll know immediately that you're ready to sign up for our, our minor. There's no reason not to, and it's a glorious time that's just waiting for you. Just do it. <laughs> it's fun. I really like it. It's so amazing. You will not regret it. It's such an amazing program, and it's one of my favorite things I've had to experience at MSU. Like, I have found such a sense of community here, and I'm a very shy person. I don't meet a lot of people, but here I feel like I belong, and I feel like I fit in, and it just feels like one big family. Whether you're an undergraduate student, a graduate student, or a faculty, being part of this community will give you a family on campus, it'll give you a place to call home on campus, and it will change not only who you are as a student or an educator, it'll change who you are as a person. That's not the real reason. I was just trying to be funny, but I'll stop being funny. I'm very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be serious. Hang on my face. No. Oh, okay. clear. Okay. Did you find him? No, we didn't. It was so tragic. We still think about that to that day. Like, where's the man? Class is like making our own syllabus. It's syllabi? Syllabi? Yeah. <laughs> Make our own syllabi. Um, my favorite things I've had to experience at MSU. That was beautiful. Yeah, that was so great. Thank you.